Hey, it's Just Bricks here with a new vlog for you. It is Monday the 11th, I believe, and I just got to the brick kiln. I set this table up just temporarily here. It's kind of huge for the space, but I wanted somewhere to show off this stuff. Uh, I got off early today and stopped by a Walmart that's a little out of the area and found 10 copies of 75939 Dr. Wu's Lab colon baby dinosaurs breakout and uh these were on clearance they're marked down to 13 dollars, which isn't th that far below what they already were but uh this dinosaur there is a little over five bucks and so is that one so it's like eleven dollars just in those two figures i mean animals and then we got the mosquito there and the minifigure parts, uh, I've been parting these figures out completely, like the torsos as well, because um, those hands for Dr. Wu are good. His head's a nice piece. Um, that torso there does not sell that well, but the hands and arms have sold well. So I figured if I got 10 copies of the set, I'd probably do a mix, try and sell some as the minifigure, and part, probably part out a few, but I bought every, every copy they had. And I didn't feel too bad about it because this set's been out for going on two years. If you haven't gotten it already, if you didn't get it at $16, you probably weren't going to get it at $13 anyway. So Parting these guys out to my to-do list for this week because I want to get these dinos in my store just because I kind of want to have an army of dinosaurs. It just seems fun. Hey, it's still Monday night. Um, just finished up. Uh, I had four orders that I needed to pack up tonight. Um, my cousin came over earlier and brought me this. <laughs> it's another Django Fett. Apparently this one was mine back in the day. And my cousin and I traded minifigures for something. I don't remember what we traded. But he found this in his stuff, and he's like, you know what? He's He's got a cracked arm and a couple things. He's like, but I think you should have this back, basically is what he said. And so he gave him back to me. And I think this one, this one is not getting sold. I mean, like he said, he does have a cracked arm, but I'm not terribly worried about that. He's going to go right up here with the rest of my Mandalorians. I'm like super stoked to have <laughs> my Django Fett from when I was, I guess that set came out in 2005, so when I was 14. So there he is and there he's gonna stay with my other ones. So super glad to have that back. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I didn't get a ton done i mean i did get a good amount done um i put out a short on well today it so it will be have been this past monday when this video goes out but um i did part out uh 10 copies of this set that i just got parted them out got them all uploaded all the parts in the store um i also parted out this uh harry potter set probably shouldn't have done this because now it's almost 12 30 and i have to be at leave for work at uh seven tomorrow so 
I'll be getting up at six. So it's, it's going to be another late night, early morning combination, which is, it's okay. It's what I signed up for with trying to start a second job. But this, uh, this back section here is really starting to fill out. I mean, I still have a long way to go, but, um, I'm almost out of big drawers over on this side. So I'm, I'm going to need some more of these big drawers down there. And hopefully I'm going to get into that used stuff this week and start filling out this section here. Um, I did just get an order about an hour or so ago while I was packing the other ones or right before I started packing them. Um, that bought a lot of these uh, window and door pieces that I uploaded from the old stuff. I'm not sure exactly what they got out of here. I think they got some of these old school windows there. Maybe not that one, maybe that one. But they, they bought a, several parts from that lot, so it's good to see things that I just uploaded going back out. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing that happen with some of the uh, some of these weird pieces over here. I'd like to see some of these track pieces and stuff get uploaded and sold. And maybe these train motors and some of the minifigure stuff, but definitely looking forward to getting these things up and out. So uh, that's gonna finish up Monday night and I guess I'll see you, probably not tomorrow, I'm supposed to go see a movie with my cousin and, a, and just, yeah, we're gonna go see Sonic 2 <laughs> because those movies are goofy and fun. Anyway, that's not important. See you tomorrow or Wednesday. Hey, Just Bricks here. It is Friday the 15th, 16th, something like that. I don't know. I don't know what day it is, but uh, I'm at the Brick Kiln. I just realized that I haven't been recording updates this week as well as I should have, but uh, I've been working on my slopes this week. I sorted out all the um, curved slopes and things that just weren't supposed to be in that category. And these are pieces that are either too beat up or discolored to sell. And then over here we've got my two by slopes all sorted by color. Oh, that one's got gunk on it. So that one's gone. And then I uh, got my little inverted slopes back there. My two by inverted slopes here. Some more stuff that doesn't belong in this category. And then just some other sorted slopes. So those are all ready to go. Uh, these are sorted by mold, but not by color yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably sort through the rest of this stuff today and try and get all of this uploaded into my store. Um, I've been working on these for a bit. And so uh, I'm up to drawer 1404 now because I got a bunch of these other slopes and things in here. Um, I also picked up another uh, pick a brick cup the other day. Didn't record anything about that, but I got these parts here in the neon yellow, so those were pretty cool. Um, some of these pieces. I think I already have a drawer of these. I once again did not consolidate anything, um, but I'm pretty sure I have another drawer of these dark turquoise plates somewhere. And then got some. Uh, some carrots, some tiles, and these guys. I feel like there was more than that. Guess not. But yeah, I got a bunch of these uh, these things up in here, the slopes and all. So um, been working on that, making some real progress on this wall, look at that. It's like a third full almost. So uh, time to get to uploading. Okay, so I just finished uploading all my slopes that I had sorted out. Uh, it took me to drawer 1433 over here, and then I also filled up drawer 1250 down here. And this is half of that drawer and a few other places. It was a total of 
960 items, 108 lots, $114.72. So, uh, not bad. Go ahead and upload that. There we go. And that's probably going to finish up for tonight. And I'll see if I'm back tomorrow. Hey, it is Monday, uh, Monday night. I'm actually just about to pack up for the night. I forgot to record when I got here. Um, just finished uploading parts uh, to, I'm up to drawer 1461 now with more slopes. Uh, actually, just about to hit upload on here. We've got 1,115 parts, 142 lots, 101.23 for the total tonight bunch of parts i've started um 1434 was the first one i should probably put a divider in this drawer and put more parts in there but uh yeah some of these old school slopes there with no bottom piece that's pretty cool but yeah then uh everything from for 1434 to 1461 all new lots so i'm almost halfway down this wall now which is pretty cool and uh down to just two large drawers on this shelf. Getting somewhere. Um, I uh, don't really know if I'm going to be able to... I don't know. I don't know what I was about to say. But, uh, yeah, I still have quite a few more slopes to upload. Probably another 100, 150 lots. Probably not 150, but probably another 100 lots there. Um, yeah, all these cups did have parts in them earlier, and then I started combining them in, around what I figured would be in a drawer, and that's what I got rid of right there. Um, yeah, not a whole lot been going on so far, uh, just trying to get these slopes knocked out. This is the last bit of my regular slopes, and then, uh, my curved slopes and all I just threw in that bin. I haven't actually sorted them yet. And then these are all the parts that uh, are just seconds because they're worn out or they have like residue from something on there that I couldn't get off. This one, the sticker was ripped and I can't get it to come off in one piece or pretty much at all. So not really worth the time to fight with it. So just got those parts left. Something else that I haven't shown yet is uh, I got some more stickers printed off. These are using my old design, my hand-drawn design, and then uh, I got them printed in a smaller form than I have previously. I tried putting one on my cell phone case. I got some glue on there from work, but they stick on pretty good in there. They seem to hold up pretty well. Um, when I post this, I, I'll have a link in the description from where I get these. I get them from Sticker Mule, and uh, if you use the link you get ten dollars off your first order i think it's the deal but uh yeah they do uh good deals from time to time like i got these when i when i got these i think i got thirty dollars off so not bad I, I ordered 500 of them and uh yeah i'm just gonna start cutting them out i got my um where is it this guy and i'll just put them on my little mat there, roll down there and slice them off and start sending them with my orders. All right, it is Wednesday. Um, I am picking my orders right now. Got four orders to pick. I'm doing it this way because uh, I've been using this cart to put my um, parts up on the wall after uploading my bulk used. So I took the, uh, the acro unit off. And so I've just been using these trays new in the back and used in the front and yeah i'm up to drawer 359 so i'm gonna go ahead and finish picking these orders and probably have to take off because it's already five o'clock all right with this i've just finished uploading 682 slopes in 112 lots 5736 not the largest value but the slopes are completely uploaded. All of them are in the store. So that's a big deal. That's a big win. That's one of the first 
large categories that I've uploaded from bulk used. So I'm excited to actually have made some progress that's really visible. Uh, when I started on slopes, I was all the way up here. And now I'm all the way down to 1484. So from 1367 to 1484, so over 100 drawers. Granted, I did part out a few things and added some pick-a-brick parts since then, but I'm very, very happy to have that finished. And that's going to finish up Wednesday night. Uh, I did get my orders packed. Um, something I didn't mention earlier is I was working out of the area again today and stopped by an out-of-the-way Lego store and picked up some more um, pick-a-brick parts, some interesting pieces there. And it was the store that's picky about making sure the lid closes. So just went ahead and put some big parts at the top since I couldn't pack in the little ones like I normally would anyway. So got those to upload probably tomorrow if I have time tomorrow. So uh, yeah, that's going to finish up Wednesday. I'll see you later. And I'm back. It's Thursday afternoon. Uh, just got here. It's around two o'clock. Uh, got all the drawers there behind me. Going to go ahead and get started on sorting out some more bulk used. Got this whole bin here. I don't know that I'm going to get through the whole bin today, but I want to get something knocked out. So, I mean, honestly, I should probably move on to sorting out these, uh, ridiculous, not ridiculous, but these, um, just miscellaneous parts here. But I want to try and get one of these, another one of these bins emptied out. So uh, probably going to start on this instead. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to stop here for tonight. Um, I did start using this container. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I started using this container for more of the uh, large miscellaneous category stuff. Um, I'm going to have to leave that as is for tonight. But I have gotten roughly half this container out. I'd say a little more than half because this was all the way to the top. So I got all that sorted out. Um, building back my slope category again. I don't really know if this should be in slopes or some other category, but it seems to fit slopes well enough, so it's going to go in there. Um, yeah, the panels and windows, doors, and things, that category has gotten really full. And then I just went through one by and two by plates not long ago, and those are already filling back up again. So maybe I should get larger container containers before I upload these lots again, just try and get bigger containers, get them all up at once. And yeah, so uh, that's going to wrap up Thursday night, not coming back after dinner. Uh, I was here late last night and need to be home tonight. Oh, and one other category that's really full is my large plates. I got a whole little trash can full of them here. Those are definitely going to get moved into a larger container rather than uh, getting uploaded just now. So that's uh, a thing for the the next next time I'm in here probably tomorrow night so I'll catch you on Friday hey, just bricks here it is Friday and I'm back in the brick kiln back working on sorting out some bulk used uh, I did take there are two parcel sets that were here that I don't think they're complete enough to bother going through and trying to um, part them out using like brick store or brick link so I'm just going to take and throw them into this bin and sort them out into the things there just to get them off the floor because uh, the bags they were in were taking up more room than this bin. Not really more room, but they looked worse. So I figured I'd get them broken down and sorted out while I'm sorting out bulk used. So uh, that's what I'm working on. And I'll update you in a little bit, see how far I'm getting. All right, so I've got those... Uh, Star Wars, the Star Wars set and the other set 
broken down. Um, seeing a lot of the black pieces there and a lot of gray. There were a lot of gray and black slopes in that one set. It was the, uh, the black gate set from Lord of the Rings back in the day. Um, yeah, so this container is still pretty much the same as last night. I've only done maybe two scoops from it. And the one took forever because it got, it must have brought stuff up from the bottom. I had a bunch of real little pieces and a lot of like hair and stuff, which was kind of nasty. But uh, then I also have upgraded the uh, giant plates and base plates category to a, a bigger trash can. So that is, uh, that's that. A lot of pieces in there. Um, had some weird ones in this in this lot. Got some of the dimensions, a lot of the juniors type stuff. That one is not going to get sold. But yeah, like, I don't know if I'm going to list these on Bricklink because I don't feel like those are great to sell because they're very large. I'm sure they're not worth a whole lot. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to take a break from this and try and get um, my orders packed. I got several good size orders tonight, and uh, I'll show you those once I get them packed. Oh, also, I found a shark tooth. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though, because uh, I've been watching the Australian version of um, Lego Masters, and right when I found this, they were doing a underwater build so it was kind of funny well that's disappointing i completely forgot that i said i was going to record these video these uh orders before i packed them up um this is the largest order i did get uh they did buy all of my um black panel pieces here and then both of these guys some bardings a lot of uh old light gray pieces and then those are the new pieces they bought. Uh, and then the only other order that isn't packed up yet is uh, this one. They got some minifigure headgear there. Those are the new parts. These guys here are used. I really need to clean these containers out. Some, some hair from my bulk lots has made its way into this container and doesn't want to leave. But then uh, they also bought Velma's head and hair. That's, I think the hair was close to $12 and the head was like four something. So that's pretty cool. And then this order here, we got my Knight of Ren. They, they bought him. And uh, then also Poe. Not Poe, Finn. So we got those there. Glad that that sold. And then, uh, this one here, they bought all of the, uh, some more of these panel pieces, but they were the ones that look like logs. They bought four, all 14 of my reddish brown ones of those. And I honestly don't remember what else. This one here, they bought, um, here's the other order. They got three of these owls, two capes and a hat. There's some of the other pieces that uh, went with those Palisade wall pieces. This one here I just uploaded like just a couple days ago. So that's cool. Glad to see one of those stickered pieces sell. Especially that one I'm pretty sure doesn't have a very high sell. There are currently 101 of them available in 71 lots. And there's only been 16 lots sold and 17 total sold in the last six months. And mine sold for 15 cents, which is three cents above average. So I'll take it. So the question this week is, if I were to do a series of videos based off of Lego Masters challenges, do you think that would be something you would be interested in watching? Let me know in the comments. See you next week.